hi everyone welcome to my youtube channel so in this video we are going to talk about that how you can add thumbnail index over in cargo 2 we are not going to talk about cargo 3 in this video uh, uh, yeah because uh, the code will be different for both cargo 2 and cargo 3 so in this video we are going to particularly talk about cargo 2 uh, so yeah let's get started so and one more thing uh, i am close to uh, 100 subscribers so uh, hit the subscribe button as well uh, it will be helpful uh, so yeah let's get started so uh, this is my um, dashboard and i am going to edit the website in cargo 2 so first let's create a new page uh, which is going to be our home page first uh, let's set it as home and after that we are going to create different project let me create a new set which is going to be my project set and after that inside this i'm going to create different projects and i am going to add the uh, thumbnail index in this project so first upload an image and here i am going to give a dummy text project 1 and some random text this is project 1 and you can save it after that uh, you need to enable this thing uh, to make the thumbnail index work because uh, uh, it means that you are setting this as thumbnail and now you can duplicate this page i'm just creating some dummy uh, uploading some dummy content To change the thumbnail index, you can switch thumbnail index from here. Like for this one, I'm choosing this image and enable this thing. And uh, now I'm going to create the last project, which is project three. And for this, I'm choosing this image. If you don't know uh, what is thumbnail index, you can check out my this video. This one is basically in Cargo 3. Project. So let me save this and enable this one as well. Uh, as you can see that this is my home page uh, to show the uh, thumbnails in the home page you need to um, go inside the home page and click on the design tab then click on show thumbnail index and after this you can see that now these thumbnails are showing here in the home page you can copy this url and check it how it is looking so if you click on any of the page it will be go to that particular project page now we need to add the main which is the css code so i will give the link uh, of uh, the code in the description this is the this is my website so from here you need to go in you need to scroll down here i have also created a whole blog on this and you can find the code below just copy this code and you can also see my projects which i have created for other people in the portfolio section and now go back to your uh, go back to the admin panel click on design tab and after that click on css editor 
and paste this code save this okay css contains some error let me see how i created this okay there is yeah there is some there was some error in the code i'll update the code in in the in my blog correct code and after that you can see that it has started working now i'm going to refresh this you can see that it is working perfectly and you can change um, the styling from here there are there are different things uh, so like if you want to make it and it is uh, light gray you can change the background color from here and now if you can see it and now, now the hover effect is uh, more dark so i hope uh, you have enjoyed this video uh, and if you have any query you can message me on my instagram and if you want me to build your website uh, you can also dm me in the instagram as well uh, i hope you have found this video helpful if you like this video click on like button and subscribe to the channel i am close to 100 subscriber so yeah let's uh, uh, meet in some another video thank you so much